And now, from Fox 55 News, this is your local sports. Hey, evening, everyone. Well, from this point on, softball teams around the state are playing for some hardware almost every time they take the diamond. Sectional championships all over the area this evening. We've got you covered with all of the action. We'll start our night in Class 4A, Sectional 5 at DeKalb. Northrop taking on Carroll Bruins. I am their first sectional in 19 years. Chargers, their first in seven, and it was the Bruins drawing first blood. Fourth inning, no score. Michaela Bionicki smacks a soft single in the right center. That scores Rachel Hampton from third. Northrop takes the one nothing lead, but they gift that run right back to Carroll in the bottom half. Runner on second, London Cup hits a slow roller to short. Maddie Beakley throws the ball away to first. Bailey Ulrich scores. We're all tied up, but once again, the Bruins would answer. Top five, Ashley Smith gets all of this ball right into the wind. She goes yard to straightaway center, solo shot, part of a three for four, three RBI day for her. Northrop back on top by one. Bottom half though, you guessed it, Chargers answer. Maddie Goheen singles back up the middle. That scores Molina Richardson, squares the game at two apiece, but Northrop would take control from there. Bruins score seven over the final two frames. They win nine to two, and Northrop is sectional champs for the first time since 2002. On Tuesday, Columbia City taking on Huntington North in an all NEH showdown in sectional six. Vikings took a one nothing lead early, but the Eagles Get a rally going in the bottom half of the second. Haley Webb gets it started with a single to center. Moments later, that feeling when you sack bunt turns into a base hit. Abby Piquigno knows it all too well. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, puts two on for C City, and Natalie Hazelby comes through with a hit. Sneaks it just inside the left field line. Two run score on the RBI double. Eagles take a 2-1 lead. They go on to win in walk-off fashion. 5-4 your final. Sea City claims its first sectional title since 2011. In Class 3, a sectional 23 down at Norwell. The host Knights take down Ole Miss 12-1 for their first sectional title since 2016. They're going to host the winner of sectional 24 next Tuesday in regionals. On to Class 2A, an all-ACAC championship at East Side in sectional 36. South Adams squaring off with Adams Central. Jets got the Regular season matchup, Stars came out hot to start this one, though. Top one, Kristen Wynn lines a single back into center. It gets by the Jets defender. That allows Shea Alberson to score from first. It's 1-0 South Adams. Next batter, Mallory Hershey burns AC's left fielder. Wynn trots home on the RBI double, and the Stars take a 2-0 lead after one. They tack on two more in the second and third. It's 4-0 now in the fifth. Hershey back of the dish, and she delivers once again and another RBI knock that plates two more. It's 6-0 South Adams. Jets, though, they would get a couple back in the bottom half. Taylor Ross, you're going to see her ground out to second. That scores Sage Hammond from third. Makes it a 6-2 ball game, but it was all stars tonight in the seventh. How about more? from Miss Hershey, waits back, gets another base knock, puts South Adams up 10, four for five, five RBI day for Hershey. South Adams claims their fifth straight sectional title. They go on to win this one 13 to five. It's so awesome. Um, during times throughout the season, we kind of doubted ourselves. People doubted us and we came out here and just won this thing. It's so awesome and so unreal. The five straight is a big deal. You know, that means, you know, you're doing that with three different pitchers, you're doing it with uh, different kids, different families, it's, it's, it's a community, it's a program, you know, it's not just one person, it's everybody buying in. Uh, to, get, to get five is, is really special, that's for sure. So South Adams moves on to face either Fairfield or Westview in regionals next week. That'll be on the road for them. In sectional 37 championship down at Wabash, Whitco. 4-1 winners over Tippy Valley for their first sectional crown since 2018. The Wildcats are going to host Western Boone in regionals next week. 